What's good, everybody? It's me, Tim Keys, and I'm here to talk about the new chord sequencer from Reason. Just came out today. Um, so far, it seems to be very interesting. One thing about Reason in particular, they do not disappoint when it comes to, you know, having different tools available to help you generate ideas. And, you know, regardless of how you may feel about the updates and the features and whatnot, one thing that a lot of producers can use is, you know, more tools and more, more resources to help you with coming up with different core progressions. Because even if you're somebody that is trained and, you know, you have some experience with playing music, it's always good to have other resources available to you to help you do that more efficiently or to just help you get, you know, some different ideas out and go places with your music that you normally wouldn't go. So... <clears throat> In my opinion, you know, reason doesn't disappoint when it comes to the MIDI tools. And quite frankly, with all of the third party independent, you know, creators that you know, come out with things like, you know, MIDI, MIDI core packs and things of that nature, having something like this helps you to not reach for that stuff because <laughs> you have it internally within your DAW. So, you know, in my opinion, it's a welcome addition and i'm glad to see it i know it doesn't come with reason 12 standard you got to pay for it It does come with the subscription so if you got the subscription you just go in download it from the reason companion website make sure you do that first and install it in your devices and it should pop up without any problem if you got reason 12 only then you probably want to go back and buy it at some point you know test it out first you get a 30-day trial to see if you like it and right now it's on sale for about 50 bucks so the basic layout is similar to all the other devices in that you have your <clears throat> you know you got your standard you know page here with the presets that you pick in my case i got the classic pop then rock pop and minor but you can change all of this and you have a lot of different you know styles to pick from and then let's go here you know you, again you have different stuff to work with pop it minor you can dictate the chord or the scales that you wanted to be in key of c and so forth So that's cool. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this, so don't chop my head off if I mess up some stuff. But <clears throat> you go down here, you know, you have your chord sequence already laid out. Now, you can go into the section right here and you can change the length of the loop. So if you want this uh four bar loop to play and have you know your notes come in at half time within the four bar loop you can do that you can have it at you know one fourth time quarter notes eighth notes and sixteenth notes you can also adjust it from a stand you know your basic four bar loop all the way to 16 bars so they give you some flexibility there. <clears throat> Once you have your chords that you like, you can just hit this button right here, send it to track. The other thing you can do is if you're playing, like, you know, most core generating tools within reason, if you hit, you know, your hand, your finger on the key, it'll give you a chord. And basically how it does it is your first note, or in this case, your root note B minor, will start on the key of C, and then the half step up will be B7. D will correspond with G in this case. And D sharp will correspond with this B7. E will correspond with G. F will correspond with D. And F sharp will correspond with A. 
G will correspond with this chord, and so up, and then everything will fall chromatically across the keyboard. Yep, so everything will fall chromatically across the, in this case, 16 you know, circle layout. You go into this section right here, and then you have more patterns that you can work with. You, you know, you can program up to eight different patterns, which is pretty cool. Um, one of the things that I liked about this particular player was the fact that if I wanted to put some chords in here, I could do so. And so, you know, I, I started messing around with some of these and got, you know, some different progressions of C minor. And how you would do it is basically you would hit one of these icons that are empty, hit this edit button right here. And then you punch in your chords. And I just, you know, did a C minor ninth. So now that's in there. If I wanna, nope, can't move it over like that. So now, as I'm doing stuff chromatically, I can, you know, basically touch my MIDI controller, and again, these will correspond chromatically to the keys as I program it. And then I can take those chord progressions and drop them down in here or in various parts. And once I have the loop that I like, I did a simple one here. I can hit send the track and it will spit out that information and put it in my sequencer, which is really neat. So yeah, you're not you know, confined to the scales that they give you as presets. So if you want to add, you know, different chords of that nature, you can do that. And then you can save the presets as you like, which is also pretty neat. I don't know what this does right here. I was hoping that this button would allow you to like import MIDI. <clears throat> Dear Reason Studios, make that happen. <laughs> you know, import MIDI into like if you had a MIDI pack and you know just individual chords you can kind of like put them in as you like that would be a nice addition drag and drop the MIDI but you know for what it is you know I don't think it's bad you have these other options where you can go and you know you can add root note top note Yeah, so you can do that to add more body to the chords, which is pretty neat. You can humanize, change the velocity. You can remove the bass if you need to. You have some options, which is pretty cool. Same thing with your velocity. So yeah, it's not a whole lot, at least for right now, to talk about. Again, one thing I'll say about these that I appreciate is having access to these i don't have to reach for you know some of the third party stuff you know um <clears throat> it's not the same as like uh uh what's it called orbs in that respect i don't know if you guys are familiar with orbs that's another tool you know the instacord instascale but it is a nice it's a nice addition you know, we can argue about the fact whether or not they're making you pay for it. I think like anything else, you know, <clears throat> the company's got to make their money because the more money they make, the more, the more money that they can hopefully take and develop that to researching new technologies or whatnot and hopefully implementing that into their DAW or their product. I mean, yeah, so there's that. On the other end, I know Reason is kind of in a pinch with a lot of folks because 
We're still looking for that VST3 support. And that's a bummer. But outside of that, looking beyond the, the frustration and maybe some of the, the flaws you may have with the company itself, I think this is a decent product. I think you should check it out, especially if you don't have something like Scalar or Instacord or anything like that. Um, and you're someone who primarily works in reason, I would, I would try this out for 30 days and see if you like it. Again, it's on sale for 50 bucks. If you don't like it, then obviously don't buy it. Um, but you know, again, it's nice to have that feature in the DAW. So you don't have to go out and, you know, spend your money. <clears throat> Let me say, pause. Let me rephrase that because you got to spend your money. It's nice to have tools within the DAW so you know you don't necessarily have to go and try to get the alternatives and figure out how to like do additional routing if you want the Instacord or the Instascales and Reason or you have a, uh, some different limitations that come as a result of you know Reason not necessarily playing nice with some of the the third-party MIDI plugins that are out. I think this is good for what it is and i definitely would say give it a test run and check it out thank you for watching this video i'm tim keys i'm out peace